Hello, my name is Len. I'm a Gyroplane Chief Flight Instructor and I'd like to tell you more about Gyrosafe. Gyroplanes are inherently very safe because of their high wing loading and their stability. They're a normal three-axis aeroplane, apart from the fact that you have to build and stow the wing once done flying. So why do accidents happen? Controlled flight into terrain or wires, rotor mismanagement on the ground, or airspeed mismanagement in the air. So what does Gyrosafe do? It's an electronic device with algorithms that monitor sensors against parameters set to safe limits. It will give you advisory warnings, which you can record yourself, if rules are broken or any electrical system faults occur. It's totally add-on to your machine, non-intrusive. It uses its own sensors and none of the machine's systems will be interfered with. What does it do? In the event of a loss of power, you will be reminded to aviate or fly the machine. You will be warned if the airspeed is too slow or too fast. You will also be warned if the stick position is in the wrong position whilst building or stowing the wing. Should the engine RPM exceed the safe limits, you will be warned. If your electrical system is either charging too high or too low, you will be warned. You can also monitor switches on doors, rotor brakes, chokes, pre-rotators and whatever you like. Included is a black box which will record the UTC time and date, ground speed, airspeed, altitude, longitude and latitude, rotor RPM, engine RPM, stick position and a derived heading headwind or tailwind. This information will be stored on the device for up to 10 years for analysis in the unlikely event of an accident. Let's go fly. Gyro safe active. The revs are good, oil pressures, manifold air pressures alive, engine dumpies are in green, hatches and harnesses. Let's move. Morning start traffic, gyroplane, India, Victor Juliet, taxiing, holding point two zero. Okay, so now we have to build the wing as described earlier. We're going to Line up and we pull in the pre-rotator, we start to pre-rotate the rotor. Rotor RPM as you see it building. And we turbo the power. If I now make a mistake, come back on the on the stick at this point. Stick forward. It will warn me stick immediately. Forward. If we reach our rotate RPM, which is 130 in this machine, it'll tell us to come back on the stick. In case we figure. Stick back. Stick back. Uh, stick come back. back on the stick. Stick back. Stick back. And off we go. Stick back. Stick it will back. tell me I have to go stick forward back. slightly on the stick. Stick as soon back. as we get airborne, stick it will back. keep quiet. Stick back. Should we exceed our airspeed at this point, let's drop the nose. And we add a bit of power. And we start going faster and faster. I've set the airspeed to 85 for the maximum airspeed for VE today, so we should get exceeding VE, exceeding VE, exceeding VE. And obviously we will pull up. Exceeding VE, exceeding VE, exceeding VE, exceeding VE. And now we've corrected the situation, so we're back to normal again. Should we be flying along happily? And. Uh, we decide we're going to let the airspeed be off because we're not paying attention. Our flying, and we let the airspeed bleed off gently. And under 30, it should start warning us. Fast going. In. Nose down. Nose down. Nose down. And nose then we down. drop the nose. Nose down. Then as we reach the required airspeed. She goes again. If we were to now get at too much power, we're flying along, we're going to overspeed the engine by flying too fast, and with too much power, we'll be warned to adjust the power. Adjust power. Adjust power. Adjust power. Adjust power. Adjust power. And uh, as a result, we will not overspeed the engine. 
Of course, everything else works perfectly. If we bring it into a hover, it should keep quiet, which it does because we have very little power on. We're sitting in vertical descent in the hover, no problem. Up the nose, add the power, and it won't complain because that was a controlled hover. And if we do it incorrectly by possibly holding too much power on while we climb, reduce the power, a correct, a correct, a reduce the airspeed I mean, and then it will start to complain. Nose down, nose down, nose down. Morning Star, Japan, India, Victor, Julia, tight left and base runway 20, full stop. And of course, we've got to have fun. Oh, <laughs> for sure. It's all about having fun. Morning Star, India, Victor, Juliet, final approach, runway 20, full stop. Fun and safe. Absolutely. a common mistake that happens now. People are taxiing away. I'm not going to go forward on the stick like we normally would. And we're going to wait and see if Tyler Safe warns us about this dangerous situation. Stick forward. Stick forward. Morning Star, India Victor Juliet, runway vacated. 